Republican presidential results from Iowa affect the Ohio primary March 6th? That's the key question today as the GOP tries to choose a nominee to face President Obama in November. Nine News reporter Tom McKee got together with local experts today to sort things out. Tom? Well, Brendan, Mitt Romney's win won by eight votes over Rick Santorum in Iowa. However, could Santorum wind up in the same position as Herman Cain, Rick Perry, and Newt Gingrich before him? They had the party polls show them ahead for a time, then they faded away. So the question now is, do Republicans really know who they want for their nominee? Mitt Romney's eight-vote Iowa win isn't the mandate he'd hoped for, according to ABC's Cokie Roberts. The results of Iowa have muddied the GOP waters. Rick Santorum's meteoric rise raises the question if he has staying power. Well, it certainly has been a whack-a-mole campaign, and, uh, and it's entirely possible that Rick Santorum is the next one to get the mallet on the head. President Obama is already stumping in Ohio, speaking Wednesday in the Cleveland suburb of Shaker Heights as the self-proclaimed warrior for the middle class. You remind me that this country is all about folks who work hard and where responsibility pays off. An America where anybody who puts in the effort and plays by the rules can get ahead. Mr. Obama won the Buckeye State in 2008. Democrats hope for a two-peat. Republicans seek change. Ohio's been hit hard by the policies of President Obama, so I expect we're going to win Ohio. Pick any one of the Republicans. I believe Obama will carry Ohio. The president and Hillary Clinton fought for the 2008 nomination before uniting to win the White House. I think we've got a great ground game in place. Uh, we know who the people are, we know who the activists are. Can Republicans do the same? Romney staffers are already setting up shop in Ohio. I think he needs to continue staying on message and uh, he needs to um, win New Hampshire, South Carolina, Florida and beyond. Santorum is starting to lay the groundwork in the Buckeye State as well. We've gotten lots of calls about Rick Santorum. There's a lot of energy among social conservatives for his campaign. Now, some other political notes here. While Michelle Bachman has dropped out of the race, Rick Perry is back in, and Ron Paul is still a player. Newt Gingrich fell in the Iowa polls after Romney supporters spent millions on negative ads, and some analysts expect Gingrich to return the favor in New Hampshire. Carol, Brendan? Well, we shall see, huh? Yeah. Thank you, Tom. The